what we're about to show you is the 21610 dry shaft bearing, how to install it. Um, this is an installation tool. You, um, one of the first things you do is you look at the bearing and it will show a this side up on the bearing. Not sure whether we can get a picture of it or not, but up here it says this side up. Um, this side up does not always mean this side up. This side up usually means that there, what it really means is that there's a taper on this side. And so wherever it says this side in should be the beginning of where you slide it in. So in this case here, on this out drive, the this side up is actually going to be down because we will be sliding this down into the unit and wherever the this side up is it's three thou smaller which allows it's a taper on the bearing and this allows us to fit the unit it allows us to slide it in into the unit easier so we would simply put the unit with this side up facing down in this case so it can slide in to the cavity Lightly tap it down. You can hear the difference in sound uh, and you can feel the resistance. And that's all the way down in this case. After which, on the side here, after you install it, there's a locking screw which looks like this. You place aviation gasket compound. on the screw and the o-ring has a Phillips head on it and this holds the uh, bearing from uh, sliding up in the cavity and that's the pins on the bearing hold together with the grease. So the grease holds the pins in place and stops them from falling out on this, on this bearing.